So I usually got my uniform on, but straight from the gym, so trying to get a good start. Exercise this one, yeah, pretty big. A little bit big, yeah. Oh, so it snuck in there and had a guinea fowl, did it? Yeah, are, they, it. are like, they pretty big guinea fowl? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit big. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like a turkey, yeah. Yeah, okay. And I don't know how he can get in the cage. lady got one out like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh, that does look like a big snake. Yeah, that has to be fairly big day, the guinea. Oh yeah, holy dooly. Oh, yeah, it's not here. It just looked big from a distance. There's Mr. Guinea fowl. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing, you know, uh, carp possums especially can eat a food item yeah, five, six times bigger than its actual head, yeah. which is pretty crazy. So yeah, what I've got to do in this situation is, um, that's filming now, so that's all good, is try and encourage it in the bag without sort of lifting it up, just mm -hmm. because um, you don't want to put too much stress on the actual snake's back. There you go. There you go. Because, yeah, if you put too much stress, especially where the food item is, it can actually damage the snake. So. Yeah, just like we gently slide it down. You should hold him up there. <laughs> then how long? He's a pretty big snake. Twist that around so you sit nice and comfy. Can you not No, he's pretty chilled out. They are most of the time. Sometimes they can be a little bit body. <laughs> hey, they're not happy, are they? <laughs> yeah, no, That's all right, guys. I'm taking the snake away. All right, Mr. Python. After your big feed of guinea fowl, it's time for you to go back in the bush. And try nice and gentle. Bring your head out. Come on. There you go. Off you go. That's a big, big food item. That'll keep them going for a week or two.